John Mayer, and I was wondering who the next big thing is. This is the Big Boss Dog, Snoop D O Double G, and I want to know who's next. I remember getting into metal when I was about 12, 13, but then it was up until recently. Six months ago, I started listening to a lot of the classic bands. I mean, even as far as like bands like Queen and Bowie and Boston, Beatles, Elvis Costello, Elton John. It's like those are bands that everyone always remembers being timeless because those seem like they're like once in a lifetime kind of bands. I think what's been appealing to me about it is I've been listening to so much stuff that's so, you know, I think screaming can only go so far. You know, I remember I'd never heard Bohemian Rhapsody, the whole thing before. And, uh,. You know, I've just heard little clips of like from Wayne's World, as everyone heard, but I never heard the actual song itself. And when I heard it, it's, it's, it was like the most advanced songwriting I've ever heard before. You know, the way Freddie Mercury sang. It's not just screaming, it's not just this grunting platform that doesn't really go anywhere, but instead, like, it's all about, you know, conveying everything through different emotion. You know, that's something that people don't really think about now. They think more of, as a band as a whole, and they don't really think, hey, that's a good front man, a good singer, this guy can sing well. It's kind of this guy can scream better than the guy next door can scream. We've done tons of cover songs. I mean, we started off as a cover band. You know, we've done Master of Puppets, Metallica. We've done, we've done probably five to ten Metallica songs as we've started. We've done Megadeth, Pantera. We've done it all. I mean, right now what we want to do is uh, Separate Ways by Journey. We want to do that. We want to make that really metal. I wasn't even alive yet when it was the glory days, so I don't really know quite what it was like. But I mean, I really hope that, that there becomes big metal bands again, you know. And I think one of the issues is why it doesn't really happen is because they're, they're such closed-minded music fans now. You know, it's like once the band isn't underground anymore, they're unhappy, the band is sold out, they stop listening, they stop buying the records, the band disappears. And I think that, you know, if, if everyone would just be more uh, open to accepting, you know, that let's grow a band, let's make a band big, you know, those days could come back. When we originally thought of Trivium, when I originally joined the band, we all sat down and everybody's goal from the start to be that band that headlines arenas every single night in a row. You know, that's what we want. We want to be the biggest fan of the world. That's what we want. That's what we've always wanted since I've, since I've been 12. That's the goal. I mean, you know, the glory days were a while ago where everybody played in the arenas, and uh, we hope to bring it back. Because right now it seems to only be radio rock bands, you know, that are doing arenas, which, hooray, but the world needs to be enlightened with some better music, which is what we're trying to do. Well, 